Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. The series from 2023 are wrapping up, and now it's time to look forward to what 2024 has to offer. I am thrilled about the upcoming series lined up for 2024. In this video, I will discuss the BL series scheduled for February and March 2024. Let's not waste any time and dive right into the video. Number 1. 1000 Years Old This series revolves around the tale of Pun, an immortal vampire who has lived for a thousand years. And Yo, a human with whom Pun starts forming a friendship. The two become close and as the bond between them starts to deepen, their relationship evolves into something more than a friendship. This series stars Shane, who's known to us from the 2020 BL series My Engineer, and Opal, who's new to the BL industry, as the main leads. It appears that a considerable number of vampire-themed boys' love series are being released this year, and I am really looking forward to watching them all. This series will start airing on the 14th of February on Channel 3 and WeTV. Based on the trailer, I'm uncertain whether this series will be good or not, but I'm still eagerly anticipating its premiere. Number 2. My Strawberry Film I have consistently found myself drawn to Japanese high school romance BL series, which exhibit a distinctive narrative style and aesthetic that sets them apart from others, and for that reason, I am really excited for this to come out. In this series, second-year students Ryo, Hikaru and Chika have been living really uneventful lives. But one day, their routine is disrupted as they stumble upon an old film role in an abandoned warehouse. Upon developing the film, they are surprised to discover a mysterious image of a long-haired girl with an delicate aura. And it seems this discovery holds the key to unlocking the deepest emotions of these three friends. The unexpected turn of events sets in motion a chain of events that will have intense implications for the friends, challenging their perceptions of reality and themselves. The story seems really interesting, and I am really looking forward to it. My Strawberry Film will start airing on the 16th of February on Gaga Olala. Number 3. A Secretly Love Cut Tanawat's performance in Chains of Heart left me thoroughly impressed, and I'm eager to see how well he does in this series. The story is about Khan, who is a third-year engineering student and he has been carrying a secret crush on his senior, Pluum, since high school. Watching Pluum navigate through various romantic partners from afar has only fueled Khan's infatuation. But one day, when he witnesses Pluum being dumped in public by his girlfriend, something shifts within him. And he decides that it's time to take a chance and confess his feelings, no matter how slim the chances of reciprocation may be. The series starts airing on the 17th of February on Channel 3 and WeTV. Number 4. To be continued. For years, Akovich has had feelings for Jirawa, dating back to their high school days. The unexpected happens one day during a movie night that takes an unexpected, romantic turn in their friendship. After this night, Jirawat does not want to talk about what happened again and this leaves Zakovich heartbroken as he likes Jirawat. This breaks their friendship, and they went their separate ways. Ten years pass, since the two friends have seen or talked to one another. Their paths cross once again, providing an opportunity for them to rekindle their friendship and perhaps even explore the unresolved feelings that have long simmered between them. Based on the trailer, the series seems promising. And it will be airing on the 19th of February on Channel 3 as well as Netflix. Number 5. Unknown When Wei Qian is orphaned at the tender age of 13, he faces a very challenging journey. As he becomes the breadwinner and has to provide for himself and his stepsister, and he works really hard to do so. Despite the challenges he faces, he ends up adopting a young boy, Wei Ziyuan, who he names Zhao Yuan, and this adds to his responsibilities. He takes Zhao Yuan as his younger brother, but over time their relationship evolves beyond the bounds of conventional brotherhood. Zhao Yuan develops romantic feelings for Wei Qian, leading to a web of complex and emotionally charged dynamics. 
The trope of stepbrothers has been a recurring theme in BL series, and I find it intriguing. This upcoming Taiwan BL series seems promising and I am eager to see how it unfolds. The series is scheduled to be released on the 24th of February on Yauku. Number 7. Deep Night In this series, Kemted, the son of Madame Freya, the proprietor of the esteemed Deep Night Club, finds himself fascinated with Vela, the club's premier host and top performer. Vela's captivating charm and exceptional entertainment skills have earned him a reputation as the club's crown jewel. And Kemted, just like many others, is quickly enchanted by his attraction. As Kemted and Vela's paths cross continuously, their connection grew stronger and stronger. And Kemded found himself mesmerized by Vela's irresistible charm, and something romantic forms between them. But their blossoming relationship is full of obstacles arising from their different social status and career paths. Based solely on the trailer, this isn't typically a type of series I would enjoy. But I'll wait for the series to see how it turns out. And this is going to air from the 7th of March on GM25. Number 6. Born to be Why Just like most BL series with multiple couples, I can already tell this is going to be very problematic. The trailer and synopsis has not interested me that much, but I hope it will be better than I'm expecting. This series is about a program designed to find the most talented couple of the year. Fourteen contestants undergo rigorous auditions to compete in a unique and exciting challenge. Under the guidance of four experienced coaches and mentors from the entertainment industry, as well as four local teen idol trainees, the contestants must navigate living and working together in a shared house. As they embark on this journey, they share their stories, dreams, and emotions, forming strong bonds and overcoming obstacles in their relationships along the way. The series starts airing on the 6th of March. Number 8. To Worlds Fufa and Cram shared a deep affection for one another, but fate had other plans. Fufa met an untimely demise as he passes away. However, an extraordinary occurrence transported Cram to a parallel world 12 years prior, where he meets Tai. To Tai, Cram was his partner 12 years ago who passed away after Tai's father shot him. This left Tai heartbroken. So he was shocked yet thrilled, when one day, as he was driving, he sees a man laying on the road. The face of this mysterious man took Tai by surprise, as it eerily resembled his former lover. Tai was very thrilled and surprised by this. However, Cram was rather furious because to him, Tai is his worst enemy. As Tai tries his best to win back his loved one's heart, Cram is focused on protecting his true love Fufa. I am unsure of what to expect from this series at this point. However, the trailer does look interesting and I'm looking forward to it. Two Worlds will start airing on the 21st of March on Iki. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.